are lying to your kids. Nothing about DNA has helped with the evolution theory at all. DNA, which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, is the most complex molecule in the universe. Unbelievably complicated molecule. That little DNA molecule, average person has 50 trillion cells in their body with 46 of those little molecules in each cell. 46 chromosome strands in each cell of your body. If you extracted all of it, it would only fill about two tablespoons. But if you took those DNA strands and unwound them, <coughs> stretched them out, tied them together, one person's DNA would reach from Earth to the moon and back over half a million times. Round trips to the moon. They say the DNA holds more, compute, more information than all computer programs ever written by man combined. IBM models the newest computers after DNA. The quantity of information is so vast, we have to invent new numbers to measure it. Not terabytes, petabytes, or exabytes, yottabytes, and zettabytes. All the words uttered by everyone who ever lived would amount to five exabytes. And your DNA and your chromosome holds more information than that. It is so unbelievably complex. If you typed out the code found in your DNA, when you got done typing, you'd have enough books to fill Grand Canyon 78 times. That's the instructions to make you. I'd say you're pretty special. Quite a list of instructions to make you. David said, I will praise thee, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. And he didn't have a, he didn't have a microscope, and he could figure that out. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, from conception to birth, the baby adds 15,000 cells per minute to its body. Each one is more complicated than a space shuttle. How would you like to, like to be in charge of the supply end, of supplying a factory that is producing 15,000 space shuttles a minute? And it's your job to make sure they have all the nuts and bolts and screws and everything they need to put that thing together. Some of you women are saying, boy, I did it, and that's hard, too. Sometimes they want pickles in the middle of the night, you know. <laughs> what are you building down there anyway, you know? Uh, <clears throat> the probability of one DNA happening by chance has been calculated to be one in 10 to the 119,000th power. That's a big number when you figure the entire visible universe is about 10 to the 28th inches in diameter. DNA has not proven anything that would help the evolution theory. It's been made the problem much, much, much worse.